Welcome back to Brazil Crypto Report. Today I'm joined by Elu Passos, who's the CEO of Trex. We talk about Elu's experience building an Axie Infinity community of 30,000 members in Brazil, her new startup that provides tooling for gamers and developers, and her predictions for the blockchain gaming market in 2024. All right. So today I'm with Helu Passus, who's the CEO of Trex, and she made the top 10 most influential list for 2023 uh, for her work in Brazil's blockchain gaming space. So Helu, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for inviting me, Aaron. Amazing, amazing. So to get started, uh, why don't you just tell us a bit about your background and how you got into blockchain gaming? Okay. Uh, my background in it's in the creative industry. Uh, I'm a graduate in animation design and postgraduate in creative economy management. Uh, I work at uh, a, a lot of a lot of years in the in the big companies uh, with uh, big projects uh, like a Disney, DreamWorks, PepsiCo. And uh, in 2017, uh, I, I'm I was entry in the blockchain space uh, because. Um, uh, I, I was working with a fintech in Brazil, and uh, I have I has, uh, a, a lot of contact with uh, developers. Uh, after that, I found my first company. It was a uh, consultant of uh, Design Pink, and in 2020, uh, I saw this little movement in Asia, uh, mainly in Philippines, that people that join blockchain games. And I I remember, oh my God, this thing it's gonna change the the word and i'm uh, entry uh a lot in the in this space um uh, yeah uh, th this is my 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 background amazing amazing and then uh and i know you you were you know ever since you were a kid you were really into uh just video games and and, and just being part of gaming communities and that sort of thing so it was very much like a a, a natural uh evolution or next step right to become involved in this uh, so I know you, uh, you know, in the Philippines, you've, you, uh, there's a big Axie Infinity community back yeah. in, in 2020, 2021, uh, back when that was really became a big thing. I know, uh, you discovered that I think in 2020, maybe tell us a bit about how, how you discovered Axie Infinity and then how you ended up really growing out a community here in Brazil, uh, focusing on, on that particular, particular game. Okay, in this time, uh, I was helping uh, one friend with an um, uh, educational crypto project. And I remember uh, we we started some uh, market actions like uh, ebooks, uh, protocols that give uh, for users rewards. And uh, because of that, he studied these protocols like a Brave, like a uh, Goal in, in, the, in this time, um, BitTorrent. Uh, we saw uh, X Infinity B because of that the, the possibility that we start uh, with uh, no money and have uh, rewards and uh, because of that I, I know uh, X Infinity it's a very it, it was a very early stage uh, in the in the global uh, X Infinity had uh, uh, 6,000 players I, I saw the, the big movement 6,000 players to 2 million players uh, I started the, this little community in, in Brazil uh, to help people uh, how how MetaMask works, how the people can uh, get out the money from from the wallets and uh, swap to 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 reais. Uh, and um, uh, this movement is uh, really organic. Uh, I never put the the money with, with ads, and the community grow up to 30,000 members, uh, the biggest community of, uh, of Latin America. Uh, in this time, I, I found my first startup uh, with a focus in monetization uh, communities, uh, and I sold, uh, sold in the, the last year. Amazing. Well, so you had 30,000 uh, yeah. members in your community, this Axie Infinity community, and that's just in Brazil, right? Yeah. Um, so what was, I mean, what was that like building out uh I mean, going from zero to thirty thousand—that's that's pretty big. Obviously, I mean, obviously, there's there's monetary, uh, there's you know, mon the ability to make money involved here, right? With with these games, but 
uh, like, what was that process like of, of building out that community and, and, and just getting people interested and, you know, and then once people realize what it is, they're like, oh, wow, this is interesting. I should, yeah, I should tell my friends or like, how do you go about building that? Uh, in Brazil, uh, we had a movement uh, very similar in the Philippines. Uh, the, the people that don't don't have money and need uh, financial access. Uh, people like uh, single moms, uh, Uber drivers, people with uh, health problems. Uh, anyway, uh, the, these guys see the possibility to to play and uh, buy meat, for example. It's a uh, it's a really amazing thing uh people that have the 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 our reality changed because of the games uh in this time it's a very different for for now now we need to put a lot of money for for cac uh, acquisition costs uh but in this time it's a uh, really organic and uh i had a hack in, in in this time uh the, the name of community uh, was x infinity br and the people in brazil understand that me it's uh x infinity in in brazil uh like a sky Mavis in brazil uh, no 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 I, i'm just a community i'm another x sky Mavis. but uh, because of that a lot of people come to to community uh the name it's uh it's a little hack to to grow up the the community and uh, a lot of content content in the content uh every every day uh i was open uh open at uh lives uh ex mornings to to explain the people uh the best teams uh how the team works translate the the cards uh it, it's a very interesting but in brazil that the people don't 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 talk english uh, uh, a little bit well like me <laughs> and uh, uh the people need the the translation now x infinity have the the portuguese language in the game but uh, in this time not and i uh, translate uh, uh, a lot of cards um show the synergy show, show the, the the all cards and after that i expand for other games for example gala gala it's a one product that uh, i i like uh, i like much, so much uh and uh, i expand to to talk about uh, other projects that uh, i i see the the potential to to bring people uh funny games play and have the, the possibility to to earn money oh very cool very cool uh and yeah i, I remember the first time i discovered axie infinity i think it was october of 2020 and yeah. i was i was looking around and i was like i'm like this looks really stupid like i don't know why anybody <laughs> would play this um and, uh, and yeah, it's <laughs> very funny because it, for me, it's it's a really really similar of Pokemon, and I see oh my god, the Pokemon in the blockchain games, this thing it's blow up. Exactly, I, I guess this is this is why uh, people don't come to me for advice on on blockchain games. Uh, I'm not probably not the best person to be asking. My judgment isn't maybe the best on this. So, uh, but no, it's super cool how uh, just a community like that blew up and uh, and and really really became just such a popular thing. Uh, during that time period, and then there's all, all sorts of these other kind of spin-off games that had similar uh, token economics models and things, and this, this kind of whole play-to-earn uh, revolution, which uh, I think was a really fascinating experiment in the sense that some of these things were like very obvious Ponzi schemes, but people were still like playing them anyways because I don't know if they were because the games were fun or if people just thought they were going to make money, but it, irrespective, like people were still using these things and playing these. Um, so I'm I'm really excited to kind of see what this uh you know hopefully there's like a second generation of blockchain games that's a bit more you know improved in terms of the token economics but also in terms of the the overall experience and and you know making games that are you know kind of more fun to play perhaps um maybe on, on that I would love to uh talk a bit more about what you're doing right now with your current company uh with Trex because it seems like you 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 took a lot of the learnings that you uh you had from the axie infinity experience uh and some of these other communities you were a part of and uh you kind of rolled out all that up into uh, uh a new company with with called trex so why don't you tell us about trex 
Okay. Uh, for me, the entertainment, it's uh, one of big tasks to, to bring the people for, for Web3, uh, for the massive people, uh, the, the make it uh, great on boards. Uh, entertainment, like movies, like uh, music, and like uh, games. And uh, because of that, uh, we created a game as a service ecosystem. Uh, we call a game as a service protocol uh, that people have the possibility to monetization or your time uh, how, how do that hello uh, we have uh, some uh, some models on the on the platform uh, one of that it's a marketplace to rent eatings uh, eatings fr from games uh, NFT eatings from from games and uh, the possibility to to guilds uh, looking for users that don't have money, but have time to, to put in the games and start uh, with uh, monetization. This is one of uh, our one models. Uh, the other model, it's a uh, micro credit that we want to provide in the key four of the, the next year, 2024. Uh, because for me, um, the, the micro credit can be uh, one step for account abstraction for the players. Uh, you didn't have a, a make a bridge for Solana to Ethereum or Flow just to buy your item and start play the game. Uh, I anticipated this and uh, you just start your item with my, my collateral and uh, we we can uh, move forward to, to to grow up the this uh, these assets. Uh, this is the the things that tracks do now. Uh, most focus in the infrastructure to to game landscape and uh, look the the other games, other studios, other infrastructures. Uh, I I really believe that other ecosystems can be uh, atomic networks to to provide the network. Uh, Effect uh, mainly in the the game landscape. Now, super interesting. So, it sounds like you're you're providing a lot of uh, of just the tooling that's required to onboard both like new players uh, and also new uh, game developers who are interested in in building these games. But there's there's some frictions there. Um, you know, with the players, obviously, sometimes it's you know, something with some of these games. You need uh, capital. You need money, or you need tokens. Um, and you may have time, but you don't have any money. So like, how do you kind of go about joining a guild and like, and, and becoming part of one of these communities where you can pool your funds together and you can maybe rent some of these items if you don't have enough money to, uh, you know, buy the, the Axie outright, but you can rent one for a certain period of time or, or things like that. Um, and then, um, uh, kind of the, the bridging is interesting as well. The, the, because there obviously is a lot of, uh, and there's, look, there's a lot of different chains where people can build these types of games right and or, or play these types of games and uh the interoperability question is one that um you know if, if a game is if, if you know i think if, if a game is going to be big it needs to be available like across different ecosystems i would presume or different chains right so there needs to be this bridging capacity um I mean, just out of curiosity what chains do you think are you know, really have the, the the most kind of maybe promising uh blockchain gaming environment right now i know solana has been has been historically a big one i know there's been uh all these other chains have kind of been fighting for for some of these uh you know some of these builders to come and, and build and play on in their ecosystems but which 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 chains are you maybe most interested in or focused on Okay, I, I divided this question in two layers. Uh, okay. the, the the blockchains uh, do, do not born to be uh, blockchain uh, native games uh, like a Solana in Avalanche. For me, it's uh, two big promises uh, because we have a, a a lot of good games in in these two chains. For example, Solana we have Aurori. Aurori it's uh, one of the the big games in, in Brazil. The people love Aurori. It's uh, really similar with a Pokemon, it not to have a, a optimizer to to desktops, but uh, the people really like the the audio. Uh, in Avalanche, we have a Shrapnel, for example. Shrapnel, it's a very, really similar with a Counter Strike, uh, big game in the in the 
traditional landscape. And then we have the second layer. The, the second layer, it's uh, the, the blockchains born for the B uh, blockchains for, for games. For example, Honin of, uh, of X-Infinity, uh, Sky Mavs. Uh, Honin born in, uh, just with uh, X-Infinity and now have a good games in the, in the chain. Uh, for example, Pixels, uh, White Forest, um, Apeiron, uh, biggest games uh, in November, uh, if I if, if I'm correct, uh, Roni has uh, 700,000 uh, active players in the chain. It's, it's a lot of players. Roni, for me, it's a one of the, the big promise. Uh, we have a Gala. Gala have a, a strong network with our entertainment industry, uh, like a Universal, like a games, like uh, The Walking Dead. Um, Gala is uh, one of the, the my my favorite blockchain infrastructure to to games we have oasis oasis put the the traditional um way to to make a business in in these games but uh, in web3 and have uh, a lot of partnerships with square enix and konami if i don't uh, if, if i correct it uh ubisoft uh bandai namco big uh, traditional companies and the uh, we have uh, uh, the, the the last blockchain. It's not my my favorite blockchain for for games, but I uh, have uh, uh, a big treasure, uh, a big partnerships like, like a Polygon with big games. It's a Immutable X. Uh, Immutable X. It, it's uh, one of the the most uh, 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 commented uh, blockchain for for games. But I, I'm think it's more hype i don't know that the other blockchains uh work it a lot and move a really fast forward and i'm thinking immutable maybe um walk, walk slow but uh, this mm. is the the blockchains avalanche solana running gala oasis and uh, immutable uh, interesting interesting so with with some of these Ethereum layer twos that have been popping up you know the, the your arbitrums and optimisms is there any notable yeah gaming ecosystem on these chains or is it or is everything primarily concentrated on those those five that you just mentioned yeah we have a, a lot of games in the a lot of chains for example arbitrum nova have a pirate nation pirate nation it's a really amazing games uh it's like a sandbox but with uh with a cards uh the the, the team raised 30 uh, 33 million dollars uh, in this year for for the the build the game and I have a strong community Arbitrum Nova it's a really amazing uh, we have a, a set layers to to always optimism um, Tezos Tezos want to bring other 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 games to to the chain uh, yeah we, we have a, a a lot of games in the in the lot of chains difference very cool very cool. Um, and then I know in 2023, you know, the end of like second half of 2022 and then the year 2023 maybe wasn't the best year for, uh, the blockchain gaming world. Uh, I mean, maybe coming off of, of a pretty, pretty amazing 2021. Um, and, um, just kind of getting your, want to get your thoughts on what, what has it been like building through this, this bear market, uh, when it does seem like a lot of the energy was, was sucked out of the gaming segment. Uh, but at the same time. Uh, you do have a lot. There's a lot of VC money that's been going into the blockchain gaming world. There's a lot of a lot of you know, like blue chip funds that have been raising raising you know raising new funds that are just devoted to blockchain gaming. So there's 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 no shortage of interest and and money floating around, right? Uh, but would love to get your thoughts on like the state of the gaming market right now, uh, and then what what should we be looking for in 2024? Like, what are you most excited about? Okay, uh, I, I'm really excited about uh, running running ecosystem um, because uh, how I said uh, a lot of active users in the in the chain, and I think uh, we we come out, come out of the, the 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 first phase of the the, the play to earn to become to 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 new phase uh, with uh, the the market. To, 
with more maturity uh, for example uh, these big games like a pixels um, have hotel but a uh, social with a start valley people that like a game you understand that that uh, I told you uh, it's a uh, it's a social farming uh, game it's it's a really funny game uh, I spend a lot of money but uh, I didn't um, pay back uh, any money just just to spend because it's it's a really fun uh, game um, I'm really excited about uh, Oasis uh, because of the the uh, the big companies, uh, for example, Ubisoft he announced uh, one game in the blockchain, uh, Chronix. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking the, the name is Chronix with uh, our Lord uh, NFT collections. Uh, it's a uh, it's a really big movement for our market. Um, the the one of the ten biggest display in the world, uh, entry in Web three industry, and uh, I'm I'm really excited for see more mobile uh, games, mobile mobile and casual games. Uh, in the 21, 22, we saw a lot of promises to triple A, uh, and I didn't like triple A to adopt the to mass adoption uh, for for the onboarding people because. Uh, um, Mainly in Brazil, the, the people don't, don't have the, the computer for uh, big gamers. Uh, our, for example, don't don't, don't launch uh, Goodwill in the all computers, just in the uh, high setups. And uh, for me, it's uh, really good if you see uh, a lot of mobile and casual games. I'm thinking there's uh, three movements uh, I'm, I'm most excited. Running ecosystem, the big movement of the, the, the big players like uh, Ubisoft and mobile and casual games to, to everyone in the, the blockchain games landscape. No, that's super helpful. That, that's a very, those are three like very important points. And I think with, with Ronin, especially, um, so this is, this is sort of the native chain of, of Sky Mavis, which is the Axie Infinity builder. And I think if, what Ronin is most famous for is the big hack, right? Where it was, there was the, I think it was the North Korean hackers that stole something like 600 million. <laughs> so it was like yeah. a lot of, it was a, and that's kind of, and that, that, that's sort of, Unfortunately, that is what I think when, when I, you know, somebody like myself, when I hear Ronin, I think of like, oh, the North Koreans that, you know, they stole a bunch of money from it. Right. But like, but you're saying that there's 700,000 active gamers who are, are building and playing on, 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 in that ecosystem right now, uh, which is, 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 it, is a lot. I mean, maybe it's not in, in, you know, there's a lot of people in the world and, you know, 700,000 maybe isn't that many in relation to the total population, but like, look, that's a lot of, that's a lot of people that are, are yeah. using this. Right. And, um, and also I think to your latter point on the, the, the mobile, uh, you know, just the mobile development. I mean, I think that is, that was really when even just going back in time, 10, 15 years to when mobile gaming just generally took, became a thing, right. With, 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 uh, the iPhone and Androids coming out, and a lot of game publishers had to make a decision like, okay, are we going to make games just for, you know, PlayStation game consoles, or are we going to make games for iPhones? Right. And the, the folks who made the decision to pivot to being like, no, we're going to make this a mobile first thing. Uh, those guys, they did pretty well. Right. Um, so I think that's a really interesting point now that, that we're maybe hitting that same uh, inflection point, you could say in the world of, of blockchain games. Um, so, uh, kind of going back to Trex here, uh, I know you guys had a really, really incredible 2023 from, you know, you started the company, I believe in January or around that time. And you had, you, you guys did a, a big Asia tour. You, you did a, a hackathon in Singapore that you won where Vitalik Buterin came and you got to meet him and, and everything. Maybe kind of give us a high, like some of the highlights of the year for you okay. and your team uh, at Trex. Okay, uh, it's a year for a lot of challenges for for us um, because for our early stage startups we have a, a, a lot of issues to, to resolve and move forward, uh, like raising capital, like a building team, like a building product. Um, but uh, we we have uh, some good moments uh, in this year. For example, we we were accelerated by Endeavor, uh, one of the the 
biggest uh, organizations of the, the world for entrepreneurship. Uh, we won some hackathons. We lost some hackathons. Uh, it's funny because in the in the Asia uh, we lost in Korea, and uh, we we was very very sad about that. Uh, but um, uh, after that we we think about it and uh, we we go to singapore uh, more more cent i'm thinking centralized i don't i don't say that <laughs> but uh, um uh we more, more focused right like more, more uh, determined yeah. right y yes exactly uh and uh we we go to singapore uh know about the all tracks about the tracks uh of the the the, the hackathons not tracks i mean uh, tracks. <laughs> tracks tracks <laughs> versus tracks yeah yeah it's, it's a really similar uh but uh we we develop uh when when social credits and uh, because of that we won two two prizes in the singapore in the polygon and uh, quadratic funding uh, it's a really funny uh, or cto present or product to 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 vitalik uh vinny uh, um Bye bye, Vinny. Vinny, it's it's my CTO, uh, <laughs> and I I really helpful for for have uh, him in in, in Trek's journey. Uh, we won in Argentina, we won in Japan, and now we have uh, the, the the some uh, MVPs about our game, Boom Boogers. Uh, it's one of the the Trex products, and uh, our game as a service a protocol. Uh, the people can can do with uh, Alpha. Uh, it, it's a really really amazing years for for us. A lot of challenges to to resolve, but uh, I'm thinking it's uh, it's uh, I'm I'm really proud about the tracks and the team and the what we we building this year. Amazing, and uh, maybe describe how the game as a service protocol works. Okay. So if I'm is that if, if I'm a if I'm a person with an idea for a game, but maybe I'm not a, I'm not super technical. I'm not a, a developer. I can I can plug into this product and or how does that yeah. work? Okay, uh, we have the two sides of the, the protocol for B2C, the final consumers, uh, like for B2B, uh, studios, game companies, startup companies, anyway. Uh, in in the, this game as a service protocol, we have the, these models uh, like SDKs, uh, some SDKs, some marketplace and some APIs. Uh, with this bundle of uh, tools, uh, the studios can deploy uh, uh, games and can have a, a rental marketplace, uh, give more possibility to users uh, have money and for studios uh, acquiring new users uh, using tracks like a distribution channel. Uh, for the final consumers uh we have this possibility to give the micro credit and the possibility to have this ecosystem to to, to provide liquidity for for uh, nfts for from games um, for example you have a uh, one sword and you put in the platform and gain money uh with the the rental in the the platform and you did not uh, um put uh, a lot of work in that just put uh, and uh, the users uh acquiring for a period uh the, this word uh it, it's like that it's uh it's a bundle of uh, of a tools to studios and uh, players that's very cool very cool um and then i guess just to wrap up here um would love to get your your final thoughts on uh anything trex related for the 2024 like things that we should be expecting uh on your roadmap um and any other any other uh thoughts you want or comments you wanted to make about uh anything we've we've talked about here okay amazing uh for the 2024 uh we want to uh, reinforce our presence in brazil and latin america with uh, events uh with uh, more market actions um we we want to improve our product uh now it's the time to 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 develop uh i see that they started this uh bull run movement but uh, uh i'm a i'm a bit for 2025 uh and uh for the next year, uh, develop a lot of our protocol, um, 
may be expected uh, or official uh, beta launch in the, the boom boogers and uh, the, for the key four, uh, the, the first tests of a microcredit for, for gamers. Uh, I'm thinking uh, uh, in the next year, it's uh, a lot of building process and a lot of user acquisition process too. Okay, amazing. Um, and then I actually had a couple more questions that just came to okay. mind as you were talking here. So <laughs> um, if I can, if I can take the liberty of asking. So I know on your, you're on your, uh, you're in Asia, you're, you're in, in Japan, Korea, Singapore, you're, you're, uh, and obviously a lot of the, 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 the blockchain gaming community is, is a lot of people in some of these Southeast Asian countries, right? That's kind of where the, 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 maybe the, the center of the, that ecosystem is, but be really interesting to hear like what did you learn about the community there okay. like what did you maybe what was is did you what was your biggest takeaways from that trip as far as just learning what what is what does this community look like uh globally versus just in latin america for example okay uh a, a, a fun thing uh about the kind of uh, of games uh it's uh, one of the highlights that uh, we 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 learn in the in the Asia in the general. Uh, in Asia, the people like a lot of tactical games, uh, like uh, Final Fantasy Tacticals, like uh, already, uh, like more chess games. Uh, in Latin America, the people like more uh, casual games, uh, games uh, that have uh, the esports aspect, uh, MOBA, uh, like uh, Brawl Stars, like uh, Clash of Clans, like uh, Fortnite. In Asia, the people like more tactical games this one thing it's uh, really really funny for me uh, mainly thinking in in distribution uh, market actions uh, other thing it's in Korea it's a uh, prohibited uh, blockchain games that people play uh, the streamers uh, distribution uh, but the the studios don't 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 uh, make the, the the law don't don't permit that. But in the other side, Korea is uh, capital of the the global in the esports. Uh, Korea have a, a lot of government investments. Uh, South Korea uh, have a lot of investments uh, in esports arena, esports athletes, uh, organizations, uh, associations. Uh, it's a uh, one different thing and uh, I saw the this movement more strong in the poor countries uh, Japan it's more strong uh, with the the biggest companies uh, like I said Ubisoft Konami and Bandai Namco uh, more the these companies but uh, the blockchain games have the the really strong uh, in the Vietnam Indonesia Thailand Philippines more Poor communities that uh, need money to to improve the the uh, home income. Uh, it's a, it's a really really different, but uh, it's really similar to to Brazil. Uh, the the most people that play blockchain games in Brazil yet, uh, it's uh, the people need the the money. But I see the, this movement changed uh, a, a little bit uh, in the next months. No, super interesting. And then um, I'd be curious as to your opinion, on why is there a, a difference? Like, like you mentioned that people in Latin America tend to prefer more the casual games, but the yeah. Asian people prefer more tactical games. Do you have any idea like why that might be? Uh, I'm thinking maybe US, um, how I say that, but uh, uh, I, I'm thinking we consumed a lot of U.S. products, uh, Hollywood, for example, um, more action things, and I'm thinking this is impact in our behavior of the how we play games, how we uh, listen music, how we uh, saw moves. I, I'm thinking it's more influence. I'm thinking it's uh, the U.S. influence about the the entertainment. Okay, that may, that would make sense. That would make sense. Um, no, that's super interesting. And, um, I, I guess one last question here would be, you know, just in terms, as you're traveling around to these different, different parts of the world and, and just meeting folks in the community, uh, of, in these different places, um, what is like, how are these people viewing 
like the gaming ecosystem in in Brazil and Latin America? Like, what what is their impression? Like, do they do they pay any attention to it? Do they know anything about it? Like, what like what, what do people think about it? Okay, the, the people is really excited about the game ecosystem in Latin America because in Latin America we have a uh, uh, two hundred million uh, people that consider and players. It's a lot of people in Latin America that play video games, and Brazil it's uh, the the mainly consumer of the the, the video games market. Uh, oh. We we are in the first place in Latin America after that uh, Mexico, maybe Argentina, but Brazil. And Mexico, it's a really strong in the the games aspect. Uh, in Brazil, we have uh, more than one uh, one thousand uh, studios that uh, develop games, traditional games, but develop games. Uh, we have uh, a lot of brands that wanna talk with gamers. Uh, it's a real uh, uh, amazing place uh, to to build things, uh, to distribution games. And the people, it's really excited. But um, uh, I saw the the Asia have a, a, a different uh, different uh, vision uh, of of ours. Uh, in Latin America, we talk oh, uh, we we created a global crypto company. I'm big in Latin America. Uh, in the Asia, the people no no. Uh, I'm a really good in Asia. I'm a really uh, um, lead the, this market. And after that, I go to other markets. I go to Africa. I go to Europe. I go to U.S. You, I go to Latin America. I think it's a, a really, a really amazing vision. Uh, you you think global, but uh, you act regional. Uh, I'm thinking it, it, uh, for me make a sense. And uh, for tracks, uh, we we thinking this way. Um, act more in latin america uh after we we lead this market we go to to other markets very cool very cool um amazing elu pasos really appreciate your time uh congratulations on everything you've achieved in the last uh, couple of years here very impressive um where can folks uh get in touch with you if they want to learn more okay um Please uh, connect with me in LinkedIn. I talk with the people. Instagram, hello, Ponto, ET, uh, eight, uh, like Ethereum, uh, and GG Tracks. Uh, follow GG Tracks. Uh, we talk a lot about games, opportunities, and the uh, ecosystem in general. Thank you for inviting me, Aaron, and thank you for, for the, the list. I'm really excited to, to be a part of uh, the list with a great professionals. Amazing. Amazing. Well-deserved. So congratulations. And uh, here's to a great 2024. Thanks for your time. Thanks.